Something more cuddly. Yeah. Bigger. <laughs> Friendlier, maybe. Thank you. Not quite what we had in mind, yes. Everyone wants to be the Cadbury Bunny. We were just talking about how classic that yeah. commercial is going back to the 90s, but it is getting now an update for this Easter. And a local bunny just may be the newest face of the candy brand Cadbury, the makers of those love him or hate him cream-filled chocolate eggs. And Chris Davis met the possible future TV star. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Sally and John. Talk about a fluff piece here. Cadbury put out the call across the country. Yeah, pretty good, right, John? Send us photos of your pet in bunny ears. That was the call. More than 4,000 families did. And here are the 20 finalists posted to Cadbury USA's Facebook page. If we just look at a couple of these, we've got Arthur the gecko right here. And if we scroll through Coco the dog, there's uh, a llama here. And if wow. we keep scrolling through... Uh, we'll see a couple more dogs, and we'll finally we'll land right there. That's Indigo the Bunny from Cedar Park. Like any rising star, she can be a little ornery. So she likes cilantro and fresh greens. Organic, of course. Because only the best <laughs> for our bunny. She's worth it. She'll be worth even more if she wins. Indigo, Indy for short, is up for that commercial role and five grand for her family. So we thought we'd see if Indy uh, had what it, had what what it, it took, took to, to make <laughs> it happen. She's almost a year old, so we got her when she was just just a baby. Christy and Jeff Fugit got Indy for their family. She replaced a less than cuddly snake and only pet. She was their only shot for the ad. She was selected out of 4,000 entrants. She was in the top 20, and she's the only bunny. She's the real deal. <laughs> Cadbury eggs for a scrumptious Easter. This is the video judges are basing their decision on now. It was a family project. Jeff wrote it. Christy shot it. And then our son did uh, an English accent as a voiceover for the video. I ate a cream-filled one with this paw. Oh, yes. She can put it away, let me tell you. Fame can change people or pets. And Jeff and Christy say it's already going to her head. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> the honoriness is coming out a yeah. little bit more. <laughs> so Jeff and Christy thought they were going to find out who won last week, but it appears it's taking the judges just a little bit longer yeah. to decide I asked them who they thought in these biggest competition is. Christy sounded worried about a couple of those cute dogs yeah. that oh. we saw. Mm -hmm. Jeff mentioned the llama and the horse, so we'll have to see. We were talking, I yeah. said I like that they roll out the retro commercial every mm -hmm. year, but if they're going to make a new one, I want Indigo to be in it. Of course. Yeah. Or at least the last shot, like you said, like the retro commercial of the bunny. Right. It, yeah. it, it kind of depends on where they're going to be updating this commercial, right? right. If it's in the main uh, meat of it or yeah. if it's going to be that final shot. So I we'll guess have to we'll see. have to find out. Cool. Yeah. We'll we have updated. <laughs> Thank you, Chris, for that. Such a cute story. Have rich history, too, when it comes to the Cadbury chocolate. Did a little research for you dating back since 1824. And we know that John Cadbury opened up his first grocery store. That's when he started to sell chocolate. Three decades later, Queen Victoria requested that they make Cadbury the chocolate choice of the royal family. But it wasn't until 1875 that the first Cadbury Easter eggs were made back then. They were dark chocolate and they had sugar-coated chocolate drops, which sounds good to me. Then it was 1971 when the cream eggs hit the shelf.